Hi, this is Tim Rohr here from Rohr Music Studios, and today we're going to be doing another finale tutorial. For this tutorial today, I'm going to be adding in the little details in the score, things like slurs and articulations. So whenever I have a transcription project, what I like to do is I like to make sure that I've got a plan in place so that I can be as effective uh, as I can be. And in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with our smart shapes, things like slurs, uh, as well as uh, crescendos, decrescendos, and a few other things. Um, I'm going to start in particular with the slurs. Now, because Finale has so many different tools, it can be a little bit hard to remember all of uh, all of the ways that you're supposed to use these tools. And the nice thing is Finale has actually provided us with a little help thing down here at the bottom uh, that says, in this instance, we're on the Smart Shape tool. And if you want to add one, you click a shape on the palette and you double click and drag it into the score. And that's what we'll do with our slur for this first one. So we're gonna double click and drag. Excellent, and double click and drag. Now, uh, technically speaking, I want to show you this real quick. Uh, for uh, just a two-note slur, you can actually just double-click, and it'll go by default from the first to the second note. Uh, but for something like this, you would want to double-click and drag. Now, let's say that you ended up du just double-clicking right there, and you want to move that slur to a different note. What you can do is you make sure that you've gotten that particular slur selected, and then whichever end that you want to change, like this one, that you click on that and drag it to the note that you want. The nice thing about this too is that I can then take this and I could actually move this to a different line if I had a multi-line slur. Now I'm going to make sure, ah, there we go. Uh, it's back on the right note. Oops. That's a nice thing is that undo button. Oh my goodness. <laughs> In this instance, too, if I wanted to, I could take that and drag it around. But we've got the, we've actually got the, the slur in the right place there. Now, I wanted to show you a really powerful tool that Finale has, which is the filters tool. And what's really useful about this is you can actually select only certain items to be copying and pasting from this. You don't have to copy and paste an entire thing and try and make changes. So in this instance, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go uh, right clicked on the measure that I want to use, and I'm going to click Edit Filter. And so I've got all of these different things. We've got notes and rests, and I really only want the smart shapes that are assigned to, to notes in this instance. So I'm gonna click okay. And uh, just so you know, the slurs are a smart shape that is assigned only to the notes because they attach from this note to that note. And uh, there's lots of uh, lots of different help on this that you can find on Finale's uh, help, help files to, to tell you which notes are ones that are assigned to beats or which ones are assigned to notes. Um, in this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and click on copy and then I'm going to paste like that. As you can see, it actually put that same slur on there. But if I did it here, same slur from the first beat to the last beat in this three, four time signature. The nice thing about this too, is if I want it to go from the first to the last beat, I could even do it on this measure right here. And that copying and pasting can be a really quick way to make sure that you've got all of uh, all of your articulations, your slurs, et cetera, in the right places. So let me finish up adding in these slurs. Oh, and in this instance, we had uh, this, this slur attached to um, something that is in the first layer. So when I click it in there, then it's still just gonna be on the first layer like that. Now that is all of the slurs that we've had in this piece here. And since uh, since I've got all those slurs, this seems like a good stopping spot. So I'll pause for today and I'll see you in the next video.